So yesterday, before going to sleep, I made this list of things I want to do. The first one is set my intention here. Where before getting um, setting my intention, I want to the first page to write myself a letter for the lily of december 2022 i think it will be very interesting to see like the difference between who i am today and that lily of one year the second one is setting intention for different area of my life like financial health business personal for different area of my life so i will set three intention for each area then i will select three area where i really want to focus to work on next year the 2022 and the last thing is to plan my first trimester of 2022 so the thing is the first three months of the year it's because i don't believe in planning a year you know like all my life i've been doing that since when i was a kid and a teenager in school it never worked for me and this year like i remember last year i started doing this planning vacation of, um, by trimester and actually worked for me i think it worked for me because take a lot of the pressure away of what i should do in a year we are changing all the time so i think this is so important to have it like if you always struggle to plan a year maybe try planning the first three months i've been doing a lot of reflection things i really want to work for next year besides like different area of my life like especially on my business finances one of the things i really really want to work is love this year for me was a year of getting actually getting to know myself it's a personal seeking that will never end i think i get to the point that okay i'm i think i will say it like I'm done of getting to know myself. I'm done of looking things. I'm done of like searching. And I want to actually start loving. So I think in the personal matter for like next year, I really want to take time and love myself. And I was talking to a friend yesterday and I think it was so powerful what she said to me. You have to learn the difference between amor propio and amor por ti. And I was like, oh, explain me more. And she said, amor propio, when you, you say in Spanish, propio itself sounds like possession. Why you don't change it for amor por ti? Self-love is very commercialized right now. Yes, doing a mass, self-care, working out or taking yourself for a day and all this, which... Are good and i do it sometimes time to time but having love for yourself is not that it's actually sitting down with yourself in the silence and ask yourself those uncomfortable questions what is love for you what do you want me to do that will show you that i love you say to yourself and look at yourself in the mirror and say i love you but really like coming from here like mean it so i was like okay okay i will try to do that also in my journey i learned that love for myself is also acceptance and forgiveness i i don't want to sound like you know romantizing loving yourself because sometimes it's hard when you feel that it's hard there's or the acceptance come in the way accepting who you are with your flaws with your insecurity with your struggle and be okay with that reminding yourself that you're human and one of the the crazy thing that happened to me is changing this mindset of always choosing one thing especially with emotions i i'm, I'm someone that feel a lot of things at the same time so i can be happy and at the same time i can be sad so i was always questioning myself like what's wrong with me why i cannot just be happy why you have also have to feel sadness at the same time and then i learned that's part of being human feeling a lot of things at the same time i learned to to be okay with that part of me but do i love it i don't know i don't know and that's i think that's a exciting journey to take on for next year of learning to love who i am not not even who i am just learning to love because i i actually can say right now i don't know how to love i don't know what is love look like because i never have the best best example of what is love is look very different the way i love my family my, my sister my brother or the way i love my friends uh the way i love my 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 pets look very different the way i love me doesn't matter how old are you to recognize i don't know how to love and i thought that was love you know having like struggle struggling drama with other people and in your life that means that you love them 
I was like, no, I don't, I, I don't want that. I don't think that's love, uh, the love that we're supposed to show to other people. And when I realized that, I actually was, was wow, so freeing to, to know that I don't know how to love. It's okay that you don't know. It took away a lot of pressure of me showing that I know when I don't know. And I think that's powerful. That is powerful. When you just don't know and you say, I don't know. After I realized that, I, I've been working on myself in those things and reflecting a lot. And today I this practice that I have to do more often, but I do this that I, I look at myself in the mirror and I talk to myself. I say like, hey, I know I've, I haven't been there for you. I've just been ignoring this part of myself and I'm sorry. I'm sorry and you are wonderful. You're beautiful, you're smart. You are the best thing here. We need you, I need you to be here. I need you to share, I need you to, to speak your truth Also, I want you to remember that you're safe This is your safe place and it's okay And I love you When I said that to myself today, I was like oh. Even even now, even now saying that, like to the camera <laughs> It's powerful saying that to yourself Feeling protected, feeling safe, feeling love Not because I'm this, I have this, I am this or I have this no, the fact that you are here now is enough to be loved. That's mean unconditional love. There's no condition for me to, to love me. Because if I say but or because, that's a mean condition. When you say I love you because of this, of what you do, of because of who you are, that is conditional love. And when you love yourself, there's no condition. I know it's so crazy that I actually start talking about this. Actually, I planned a different video to talk about a bit of my life after a year quitting my corporate job but everything turned so different because I feel like we have to talk about love we have to make 2022 the year of love well, for myself at least <laughs> it's gonna be a year of like loving me 2020 was more a year of a breaking point of a year of like, hey, can you stop and ask yourself what the hell are you doing? 2021 was a year of oh this is who i am and i think 2022 is gonna be a year of like i love who i am the loving the flaws loving the strength loving every part of it this is gonna be an amazing year so i just want to make this video more like a like a conversation i think i will make a, a video of planning your 2022 so i'll see you then bye